Hi, I'm Shanika Center. I am the virtual content specialist for middle school science for multilingual learners and English language learners. This, this week's videos are going to be student facing videos focused on the lessons for the week of 423. Hi, I'm Shanika Center. I am the virtual content specialist for middle school science for multilingual learners and English language learners. Today we are going to create a monster for unit four, day 25's lesson. Before we get started, let's review some vocabulary. The first word that we need to know for this lesson is gene. A gene is a segment of DNA that codes for traits. second vocabulary word that we need to know is DNA. So DNA is a molecule that has genetic information. It's found in the nucleus of most body cells. A trait is a characteristic or a feature. These can be physical traits like your height, your hair texture, or uh, other traits like diseases, diabetes, or even your personality. Your phenotype, this is a word that's going to come up a lot in this lesson sequence, is your physical trait. So when you see the word phenotype, think of traits. It's the same interchangeable word. Variation is a different different forms of something. So you can have variation in your skin color, um, variation in hair color, hair texture, different heights. So variation is a different form of different phenotypes and different traits. An allele is one of two or more versions of a gene. So we talked about what a phenotype is. The phenotype is a, your phenotype is a physical characteristic or physical trait. And your genotype is the combination of alleles an organism has. Your genotype makes up your phenotype. So your genetic information or your alleles make up the physical traits or physical characteristics that you have. In today's lesson, you are going to create a monster baby. The method of creating this monster baby is a little bit different in this video than it is on your lesson notes, but if you follow along closely, you will be able to do it, uh, create the monster baby just fine. So the first thing you're going to do on slide 14 is create your monster. You're going to pick one head shape, one mouth, and one type of eyes. You can copy and paste these traits into the box on slide 14, labeled my monster. If you do not feel like creating your own monster, you can copy and paste one of the monsters that I created for you here. All right, now that you have your traits of your monster, you're going to determine the genotype or the genetic code or the alleles that your monster has. So you're gonna look, um, using this slide, you're going to select the traits that your monster has. So for example, if my monster has the blue circular head, I'm going to look at this in this box here. My head shape is circular. So that means I have the genotype of either big H, big H, or big H, little h. If I have a square head, for example, if my monster's head looks like this green one, I'm going to have the genotype little h, little h. As you pick the genotype and the alleles, you're going to copy and paste them into the yellow boxes right here. Make sure if you are using any of the traits in this column, you only pick one set of alleles. So you're picking big H, big H, or big H, little h. You're not picking both. So 
So for example, if this is my monster, I pick the monster, the blue monster with four eyes. I'm going to copy and paste my monster here, put it in the monster box, and then I'm going to pick the alleles. So I'm going to go back to this chart on slide 13, and I'm going to see what the allele genotype is for the round blue head. So I can either pick big H, big H, or big H, little H. So I'm going to pick big H, little H. And now looking at the mouth shape or the mouth feature, I have the mouth with the tongue out. So I'm going to, again, pick between big T, big T, or big T, little T. And this time, I'm going to go with big T, big T. And now for my eyes, my monster has four yellow eyes, so that is an easy choice. My alleles are little e, little e. So I'm going to write that in the box here. So once you are finished with filling out your monster's picture and your monster's genotype, um, you are going to return back to the presentation given to you by your teacher.